The focus on how the Heat lost another close game shifted from the result to the reaction. The only thing that matters to us right now is us. We're the only opinions. Uh, the discipline that we must have is to close everybody out. There's always going to be white noise uh, out there trying to distract uh, what we're trying to do. Uh, we're trying to get better. Uh, and ultimately, the only thing we can do to shut anybody up will be to win. Thankful. The issues that matter remain paramount to the only people who can truly affect the bottom line. What is Pound going to do? You know, what is not doing that going to do? So, um, you know, that's, and that was one of the things we ought to understand. We all decided to come together, that it was going to be sacrifice on how to be made. Um, and, you know, you live with the consequence. I told my team I'm not going to continue to fail them late in the game. Um, put a lot of blame on myself tonight on you know, telling the guys that, uh, no, I just keep failing them late in games, and I won't continue to do that. Thank goodness for the uncaring, irrepressible nature of the NBA schedule, because only another game and another result can alter the current storyline. LeBron for three. Yes! LeBron James, you are amazing! <laughs> Sometimes when you're in uh, adversity like this, there's a beauty in the simplicity of just tonight. That's the only thing that matters. After four losses, that's what you do. It is time for Heat Live delivered by Papa John's. That's right, the Blazers are in the house. Remember the last time that overtime when LeBron went absolutely crazy to get it done? Sometimes you got to put a W in your heart to get a W in front of you. The Blazers and the Heat, speaking of W's, the Blazers have three in a row. They got one in Orlando. Last four losses for Miami have been excruciating, painful, frustrating, and heartbreaking. The big lead that got away against New York. Final score in 91-86. The three-point loss to Orlando, another double-digit lead gone by. The 30-point blowout at San Antonio on the second night of a back-to-back. -back. And then on Sunday afternoon, felt like a playoff loss to Michigan shots at the end a 10 point second half lead that vanished and the heat now play their next five all against the west and they're all above 500 now and lamarcus aldridge and we said that earlier arguably the best player not to play in the all-star game in february he's been terrific coach mcmillan talked about him before the game about how he's improving with every game his patience has been great he's 11 for 20 from the floor 26 points just did a real nice job of taking what the defense gave him. He started making the Jays early. Got a nice turnaround, Jay, on the baseline. Just a very smooth player that seems to be growing with each game. And uh, in his fifth year in the league, he's somebody to be reckoned with. And how about Gerald Wallace coming here from Charlotte, just doing a nice job tonight against the Heat. He always gave the Heat problems there. He comes off the bench, 8 for 14 from the floor, 9 rebounds, 22 points, a couple of steals. You know, six free throws, he gets to the foul line. Just did an outstanding job of just a good all-around game coming off the bench for these Blazers. And there you see a great one-two punch for their front court. The Heat have lost five in a row, and I know it hurts, but if you want to watch tonight's game all over again, check it out at midnight right here on Sun Sports. Our next telecast comes your way Saturday afternoon, 3.30. I'll be here at 3 o'clock. Come on by will be in high definition, by the way. This has been a presentation of Sun Sports, your exclusive home for Miami Heat basketball. For all of us, E. Reed, the coach, and K. Hugh, I'm Jason Jackson. Coming up next, Inside the Heat All-Star, here's your final take. In other words, I'm living good. I can say I, I made it. I throw the money in the air. Then watch it hit the ground. We gon' shut the city down.